everyone and welcome to the next video in the series of videos about the standing asanas. Uh, today the asana that we're going to look at is Parivrita Trikon Asana which is basically the revolved triangle pose. And I'm going to show you the classical posture, tell you the main um, points of the classical posture and then show you how you can improve your practice and your posture uh, by using props, by using a chair and, um, and your block. And remember, you can get very creative with Iyengar uh, postures and uh, very creative, like you can use walls, you can use books, you can use so many things to improve the postures. So uh, always uh, keep the practice playful and uh, use these as guidelines. And eventually you can evolve uh, you know, a style of practice of your own. So I'll show you the, the classical posture. In the classical posture, you stand up straight and then take your legs about four, four and a half feet apart. If you're taller, five feet is also good. And then what you're going to do is, you're going to turn the right foot out and turn the left foot in. Keep your back straight. Take the hands up. Bend from the waist. Place the left hand on the outside of the right foot and take the right hand up. And then to come up, you turn around and walk back in. So that was how the classical posture looks from the back. Now I want to show you how it looks uh, from the front, how the rotation of the torso. So what you're going to do is, again, you're going to get into the posture, right foot out, left leg in. You have to make sure that your hips are squared, shoulders are squared. Take your hands up, bend from the waist, and place your left hand on the outside of the right foot. Take the right hand up. The hands are in one line, chest is open. What you have to make sure is that the hips are square, the shoulders are open and the arms are in one line. So this is the classical posture to come out, you lift up and walk your legs back in. So I want to show you how to do that with the block. So uh, again, I'm going to show you how the front part of the body looks, how the torso looks from the front. So again, you get into the posture. I'm going to place my block on the outside of the right foot. So you're going to turn the, the foot out. Again, just getting into the posture here. Hands up, bend down, and you can place the block, the hand on top of the block. Now, if and then you're going to push down into the block to lift the chest up. So if you need to kind of, if you, if you need more of a, a length, you can go ahead and push down and place the block uh, horizontally, vertically on the mat. And for a lot of you, you may not be able to twist so much and your back heel might come up. That's fine. So what you have to focus on is opening the hip. Keeping the hip square, opening the chest and lifting the arm up. So that is how to use the block. Now, you can also use the chair, and I frequently use the chair because, because I feel the chair gives a lot more um, extension to the upper body. And basically in this posture, we are trying to twist the torso while keeping the hips square. So for the chair, what I do is, I put the back side of the chair so that I have access to this and this bar. So I put that towards me. And then I do the same thing. So I'm going to take the right leg forward, left leg in, and with my left hand, I'm going to come down and grip the bottom bar of the chair. With my right hand, I'm going to hold this, the upper bar, and then I'm going to focus on twisting. So I'm going to push down with the right hand and pull forward with the left hand. And really extend the chest, open the chest. You'll be able to feel a stretch all the way down to the base of the spine. And you can hold this for a while. Again, for those of you who are unable to kind of uh, push the heel on the floor, you can lift the heel up, but at the same time you have to focus on opening the hip joint. And let me just show it to you on the left side. So for the left side as well, you're going to take the left hand out, left foot out, right foot in. So here itself, your, your hips are square, body is in a straight line, 
and lift both arms up and as you come down place the left hand on the upper bar right hand on the lower bar push down with the left pull forward with the right and allow the hips to become square and just enjoy that stretch Good. and come up so uh, these are just two variations of the Parivrata Trikonasana that you can implement in your practice remember uh, twists are really important um, to do every day because they keep your internal organs massaged, you know, well oiled, uh, healthy. And so immediately after the Trikonasana, I like to practice the Parivrata Trikonasana um, because I feel that it works really well on opening up the torso. Trikonasana extends the torso. Uh, Parivrata sort of helps you in uh, twisting, which is basically, uh, you know, which leads to your uh, deeper twists, like the Madhijasana. So these postures are really important. Um, and I feel that you know practicing them uh, daily really increases my energy levels and makes me feel like a little bit taller and a little bit more limber. So yeah, go ahead and practice and let me know if this helped you. Thank you.